Hi everyone! Uh, finally doing a live with you guys. It's been a long time actually since I've had the opportunity to get up on my channel and have a chat with you and I'm so excited to be talking about a project that I've been working on for the last couple of days and that's of course SNL Live. Um, it's a brand new noontime show on TV5 and I'm one of the hosts there. So while we wait for people to jump on this live with us, shout out to everyone who's joined so far. Hi! Thank you for tuning in. If you're from somewhere outside of the Philippines, please let me know where you guys are watching from. I would love to know also. Um, you know what guys, I really miss doing lives. There's something about being able to really just jump on and really connect with you, especially parang this is our new normal. I keep in touch with my loved ones this way and my family through, of course, digital means, um, video calls, Zoom calls. We have people watching from Canada and from Zamboanga. Hi, Jason. <laughs> Um, from Chicago, hi, in the U.S. Um, thank you all for tuning in. I asked earlier for some questions about the new show and I have them here with me. Hi, John from Australia. <laughs> hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. So I'm going to go through all, a bit of these questions to let you know a little bit about this new show, what you guys can expect, what I'm excited for, um, also maybe what I'm nervous about. So let's get into it. Okay, so I have a question here from Jane Arzadon. Um, firstly, Jane, thank you for all the support. I see that you follow along with all of my things. So thank you for your question. It's, the question is, will you have a duet with Piolo? Uh, for those who are watching from outside the Philippines, Piolo is one of the major heartthrobs here in the Philippines, but also one of the most down to earth and humble people and yes, I do have some duets with Piolo coming up in the new show. Um, we're, we're doing one OPM and one English song. So you'll have to watch out for that. It's one of my favorite OPM songs. So really excited for you guys to catch that. I have another question from... Doo -doo -doo. Um, Will.i.m how are you doing this quarantine? I'm doing really well. Um, of course, it's been such an adjustment. Um, I guess just trying to make the most of it as we can. Um, for me, I feel really, really lucky that I've been able to travel to Zamboanga. I just recently came back from there and I loved it so much. It was my first time in Zamboanga, um, which is in the region of Mindanao um, here in the Philippines. And their culture was just so gorgeous. Um, and I can't wait to share that with you all also. Um, and so you can watch out for that. That's your my Raise Your Flag series uh, coming soon to my YouTube. And on that point too, I do have my Laguna episode airing this evening. So please keep tuned for that. Um, and thank you to everyone who's tuning in. Hi, May. <laughs> Um, thanks for tuning in with me. My next question that you guys sent in from at Charles the Graham. Will, what performances will you showcase to Sunday viewers? Um, me personally, um, I am one of the five hosts, but I will also be performing. Most of my performances are singing numbers, but I think something that you guys have never seen from me that I'm really quite nervous about is that I'll be dancing. <laughs> Um, I've got some numbers where I'm singing and dancing, so I've been asking tips from Ate Ma Maha. Um, so wish me luck, guys. It's something that's very much outside of my comfort zone, but I'm really looking forward to it because, you know, when you approach things that maybe you're not comfortable in, at first, of course, it's nerve-wracking, but that's really how we grow. Um, you know, they say life begins outside of your comfort zone, so I'm holding on to that as I take on this next challenge. So you guys will have to watch out for it on SNL Live. Um, this show is, of course, on TV5. My next question that you guys sent in... Um, Dale.lzrs asks, what is it about? I suppose it's referring to what is SNL Live about. So SNL Live is a noontime show that will be airing this Sunday, October 18 on TV5. Um, it's not only an entertainment variety show, but we're also showcasing stories, which I think is something that's really cool that we're doing. And also we're featuring a lot of up and coming artists. And 
you guys can take it from me. I've been watching backstage um, and also seeing the performances, rehearsing. We have some amazing guests on the show. So talented um, and just such masters at their craft. And I really think that it's wonderful that this stage will hopefully put a spotlight on that talent. Um, so really excited for you guys to get as excited as I am about them because they're really, really good. Um, I have another question from Miles.Milbs. Hi Kat, we're so happy to see you back on TV. Will you, will we see you play an instrument on the show? Uh, not yet. <laughs> I think I'll leave it at singing and dancing for now um, and hosting. Um, but that already is, a, I feel like, a great challenge for me, um, especially sa Tagalog. And also just being on stage again after so long of, you know, just being working from home is a really beautiful feeling. Because as a performer, and if there's any performers who are watching, I'm sure you can relate. Being on stage is a different sensation. And it's just been like, it's, it's lost a huge aspect of what it means to be on stage because it doesn't have an audience and if you're a performer and you're performing to an empty room it doesn't have that magic so um, it's something that we're learning to kind of um, deal with because we as a group at SNLI we want to give the entertainment and the happiness to the homes that we're able to reach with our program um, especially during this time we have a lot of worries we have a lot of uncertainty we still feel the effects of the pandemic especially here in the philippines so we hope through our new show um, starting this sunday that we'll be able just to bring more joy more happiness into your homes every sunday um, another question uh zed zandrex <laughs> asks are you a host or a performer or a host performer I'm a host performer, so I'm really excited. Um, it's when I first saw the, the lineup of the prods and the kind of different setups of the stage, my excitement just grew exponentially because um, it, it's finding myself in a new space. Um, I've hosted on other shows before and I've performed here and there at smaller things, but to do it both together every week is, is something that's a challenge, but also something I'm so looking forward to. And I hope that you guys can experience the journey with me because, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a learning, learning journey for me too. And it means a lot that all of you are supporting and all of you are tuning in. So thank you so much. And on that note, hi to everyone who's joined with us. Um, let me know where you guys are from. I know that earlier we had some from Las Vegas, from Mexico, um, and from America, hi, from Australia. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, our next question is from Novi underscore Gudarin. Sana magkalap po kayo ni Stephanie sa SNL. You two are my faves. Grabe, napaka-talented si Zephanie. She's so young, but she just has this light when she's on stage. And she's so, so kind. And then she just emits that aura of just like, you just feel like you can go up to her and really just bond with her. And she's so, so sweet. And um, her along with a lot of other artists that are on the show, grabe yung prod numbers. Really, really excited for you guys to see it because... The amount of talent that they have at such a young age, I'm so in awe and I think it's really a cool thing to be a part of because you just, you just know with certainty that one day they're just gonna reach such a high level because they're so young and so talented already at such a young age and so confident on stage. When I was like 16, 17, when I was on stage, I don't think that I would have that much confidence so I'm <laughs> proud. Um, another question from Ezekiel underscore Longares. How do you feel? We are here to support you, Queen. Thank you for the support. I feel nervous and also really excited. Um, again, this is a brand new show. It'll be the first uh, episode this Sunday. So I'm really excited to be a part of its, its beginning um, and also to see what you guys will think. Hopefully it makes you happy. Hopefully it entertains you. Um, as we come into your homes through your, the TV5 channel every Sunday just to bring a bit of joy and a bit of happiness to you. Um, and then we have a question from 
Uh, uh, you Raj Tamam. Hope I said that right. Mom, if we miss it by chance, then can we see it the next day? If yes, how can we, ma'am? Um, at the moment, our program is only available on TV5 on the day, but hopefully we'll be coming to more digital platforms to be able to reach more of you. Um, and yeah, but please tune in this Sunday. It's at 12 noon exactly. Um, invite your friends, invite your family. We'd love to have you guys party with us. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited, guys. I know I keep saying excited, no, but it's just kakaiba yung feeling when you're at the beginning of something new. And um, during this pandemic, with my work mostly being from home, I've been able to travel just a little bit during this last leg, but it's mostly been within a comfort zone of being at home and being mostly on digital, interacting with you guys through my different platforms. But um, it means a lot to be able to now just do something different and, and to really like challenge myself and to also be a part of something good. Um, so it, it's, it's a huge pleasure. I'm very, very grateful to have this opportunity also with TV5 and with SNL. Um, and I hope you guys love it as much as I'm growing to love it also. Um, and with that being said, I hope that wherever you guys are watching from that you're doing well. Um, how are you guys? I hope that you're all safe. Um, for those students who are studying online, how are you holding up? Um, for those who are working at the moment, for those who are staying home, sending you guys all love to wherever you're watching from, uh, wherever in the world you're watching from. Um, and I am really, again, really thankful for the support that you guys have showed um, through this project and on my other projects. Um, and yeah, just really happy to have you guys. Uh, next question from Angela Nigulas. What's the feeling working with Maha Salvador for the very first time? Actually, I was so a fan of her just from her dancing, from seeing how she performs on stage and um, to be working with her and being able to see her perform every week feels really, really cool because, of course, as I'm um, going into the realm of, of performing and incorporating dance into my performances, I really look up to her um, and the way that she's able to just give her all every single performance. I am really in awe of that and, and she's so, so sweet. Um, and, and I just, yeah, the rest of the co-hosts actually, um, it's, I feel like we're going to become a family throughout the show, which is really nice. Um, and also, I'm just going to learn so much from them, which I think is a great opportunity also. Oh, I have a question here about... Oops. Uh, from Jesneel Harton. Um, is Sunday Noontime Live an entertainment variety show with exclusive live performances only? Um, yes, all of our performances are live, but also we do have portions where we really get to sit down and know the artist. So instead of expecting a performance, performance, performance based every Sunday show, um, you'll actually get opportunities to really learn about the artist, what inspired them, uh, maybe dun sa kanta mismo, what were they inspired by if they wrote it, um, how they prepare for their performances, and other, any other personal cuento that may, they may have. Um, which I'm excited about because you guys know that I love storytelling. I love knowing about the heart that goes into different things that people create. And music is very much that. Music is very much an art form. So I really look forward to seeing and learning about our, our Filipino artists, how they are bringing something new to the stage and what their personal journey is for them to be able to do what they do. Um, and you guys can watch out for those stories on the show on SNL Live also. Um, next question, did you enjoy your time in Zamboanga from I love strawberry berry? <laughs> um, I love Zamboanga, it was fantastic. Um, it was my first time there and I actually have members of my team who are from Zamboanga, so I already heard great things about it, um, but being able to go there and firsthand experience it was something very different and something that I'm really grateful that I was able to do whilst we're still 
Um, in this pandemic, of course, um, I was guided by local authorities and I'm working alongside the DTI, which is the Department of Trade and Industry, um, as their Autop ambassador or their one town, one product ambassador. So it was really great to be able to have the opportunity to really highlight small businesses in Zamboanga, just as we did in Laguna. And um, again, Laguna is premiering at 6 p.m. today, so please keep an eye out of it, uh, eye out for it on your on my YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, that's my time with you guys today. Thank you for everyone who tuned in from everywhere in the world. Um, sending you guys lots and lots of love. Hope that you're safe. Hope that you're well. Um, and please don't forget to tune in to Sunday Noontime Live this Sunday, October 18 at 12 noon. Love you guys so much. Sending you big, big hugs.